Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Today we have a new worksheet. The name of the worksheet is called Practice Word Problem Addition and Subtraction. And the directions say solve the word problems and check the correct total. So a word problem is kind of like a little story. We're going to read through the story, but then we need to figure out what we need to do with the numbers in our story. Do we add? Do we subtract? What do we do? So let's go ahead and start. Let's read through the first question here. The first question says, at the zoo, Alex took 12 pictures at the monkey house and 28 pictures at the polar display. He used 18 of these pictures in his photo album. How many pictures did he not use? So what it looks like we need to do is we need to determine how many pictures that Alex took all together and then we're going to subtract 18 from that to find out how many that he did not use. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, we need to write out this problem. So we're gonna solve this by writing it out off to the side. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to write, Alex took 12 pictures. So I'm gonna start with 12. And he also took 28 pictures at the polar display. Okay, so I need to add those two together to find out how many pictures he took total. So eight plus two is 10. Okay, and I'm gonna need to carry the one over here. And then one plus two is three, but don't forget to add the one, would be four. So he took all together, he took 40 pictures. But then it says he used 18 of these pictures in his photo album. So if he used them in his photo album, we have to subtract them because they wanna know how many is left over. So 40 minus, now we have to subtract 18 okay so let's set that up so 0 minus 8 well you can't take 8 away from 0 because eight, 0 is the smaller number so what we need to do is we need to make this 0 a bigger number so the way we do that is we come over to the 4 over here and we're gonna borrow from the 4 we're gonna turn that into a 3 so we're taking 1 from, from the 4 and we're gonna add it over here to our 0 to make 10 so 10 minus 8 is two and then three minus one is two so that's 22 that should be our answer but sometimes I can make mistakes when I'm doing my subtraction especially if I'm carrying and borrowing so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double check I'm gonna make sure 8 or 40 minus 18 is 22 the way I'm gonna do it is I'm actually gonna add 18 and 22 together off to the side and if it equals 40 then I did my calculations correct so over here off to the side I'm just gonna double check my answer 18 plus 22 well 8 plus 2 is 10 carry the 1 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 1 is 4 which is 40 so that means that I did that correct so that's my answer. So over here, how many pictures did he not use? 22. There's my answer. And it says we need to check the correct total. So I'm going to put a check mark right there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to do the next one. So we need to read through the next one. It looks like we've got muffins on this one. I like muffins. And we're going to try to read through the, the story and then find out what it is that we need to do in our story. So it says... There were 340 blueberry muffins and 250 strawberry muffins in the zoo cafeteria. Children ate 500 muffins. Ooh, that's a lot of muffins. How many muffins did the zoo cafeteria have left? So what we need to do now on this problem is we need to find the total number of muffins between the blueberry and the strawberry, and then we need to subtract 500 to find out how many are left. So once again, these are big numbers, but we need to set up a problem so that we can find our answer. So here we're gonna write 300 
and 40, that's the blueberry muffins, okay? And we're adding this together to find our total. And then the, it says we also need, how many? 250 strawberry muffins, okay? So 250 strawberry muffins, we're gonna add those up. So zero plus zero, well that's easy, that's zero. And then five plus four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, so nine. And then three plus two, so three, four, five, okay? So my total number of muffins that the cafeteria made was 590 muffins. But then it says, children ate 500 muffins. So if they ate them, do we add on or do we take away? We take away. When they eat them, it's gonna be a subtraction problem. So we need to subtract from the total number of muffins 500, it says the kids or the children ate 500, okay? So let's set that up. Zero minus zero is zero. Nine minus zero is nine. So far this is pretty easy. And then five minus five is zero. But since this is in the hundreds place, we don't need to write that down. So we're just gonna leave that. We know it's zero, there's nothing there. So our total is 90. That's how many muffins the zoo cafeteria had left after the children ate the muffins. So let's come over and find our answer. 50, 90, there it is, there's 90. And you know what I notice over here is they had the number 500. That was kind of tricking us, didn't it? Because 500 we use. Sometimes they like to use some of the numbers that we're gonna use to trick you but as long as we go through the answers and remember what it is that we're looking for we'll find the right answer so the answer was 90 on that one great job guys <laughs>